Hey guys, I hope you're doing great today. I have a video for you of Hope's babies. Her eggs hatched on, well they started hatching May 4th and the majority of them hatched on May 5th and one little guy held out until the 6th. <laughs> so this is just some video and photos I took along the way and then I have some new photos and video I took today which I'll tack on to the end so you can see how they're doing now. So you guys enjoy. Take care and have a great day. Bye. Hey guys, I hope you're doing great today. Um, today we have babies starting to hatch. So I just thought I'd give you a quick look. Uh, we have one little guy that's already hatched. He's right there. Um, he actually hatched last night. He started pipping. And usually when they start pipping, they take quite a while before they actually exit their eggs. And he was out within two hours. So I was very surprised when I checked him on him the second time that he was already out uh, cruising around. <laughs> so, um, so here he is. That's our first little one. Um, he's trying to burrow under here. But he's really cute and he's a very energetic little guy. He likes to explore. Um, we have a second one that's pipping here now, as you can see. Uh, she's just starting to poke her head. I always call the red ones she and the brown ones he. I don't know why, but... So we're not, you know, there's not too much going on yet. Uh, we have just this one guy here cruising. And then we have a second one here that's starting to poke her nose out right here. Let's see if I can get her to stick her head back out. Yep, nope. She's not ready to poke her head out again, so... Um, I'm just going to cut the camera for now and when we have more activity going on I'll come back but I just wanted to let you know that Hope's eggs are starting to hatch. Hey guys I'm back. Hope you're doing good. Say I'm just wanted to show you this little one that's got his head poking out of the egg here. He or she has a perfect little heart on her head. I don't know if you can see that or not but it's just the perfect little heart I've ever seen. <laughs> so. Um, so not too much going on as you can see we have one two three four five pipping we got one over here that's not doing anything and this egg I think may be a bad egg there's no sign of anybody in there that I can tell it was really nice and plump but then all of a sudden it started shriveling so I don't think there's anything in that one it's that one right there but we'll wait and see but this one had such a cute little heart on its head I just thought you might like to see it Hey guys, well here's a little update. We got a new one hatching. He's looking at my camera. <laughs> uh, looks like a, I think it's an anery, a really nice little anery. So hello, hello little one. Welcome to the world. <laughs> He's going to go over here and check out his sister who's just resting over here. This is a really, really nice little anery, very pretty anery. I'm very impressed with this color. <laughs> so that's another one out of the egg. Now let's see, we have three eggs left to go. Um, there's two, we have, so far we have three amels or melanistics. We have uh, one normal and one anery and we have three eggs left to go. So. Here's this little guy venturing out his egg for the first time ever. Hello little guy. Oh you're so cute. Look at that beautiful head. That is a beautiful snake. 
You are a stunning little guy, my goodness. <laughs> All right. Well, we're getting closer to being done. He is a beauty. Just checking everything out. What I usually do is when they're while they're hatching, I leave them all in the same container here where their eggs are and it's nice and warm because they're in the incubator and then once they all hatch then I do a quick little uh, rinse I put them in you know warm water that's not hot but not cold either I try to keep the water as close in the temperature as I can to uh, what they've been experiencing in the incubator and I rinse them off for about three minutes and then they're going to all go in the same aquarium and what I do is I put them on paper towels instead of substrates so that if any if there's any sort of issues that are going on with a baby I can usually see it right away because um, you know, like if their umbilical cords not falling off or whatever I could just get a better look at them and I can keep an eye on what's going on and then they'll be in an aquarium and I'll keep it damp and then they hatch or they hatch they <laughs> not hatch they shed roughly in about seven to ten days and then at that point uh, we can try our first feeding and see who will eat so little snaky all your brothers and sisters have hatched they all hatched yesterday and then there's you you like your egg don't you 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 like your egg it's cozy I know I know all right well it'd be really nice if you came out and you could be with your brothers and sisters. Yeah, that would be very nice. You're not coming out, are you? Well, you decided to come out. Well, hello. You coming out? Well, welcome to the world. Welcome to the world, little guy. Were you just afraid? Were you afraid? Oh, trust me, the world's a lot more fun when you come out of your egg. Yeah, it's a lot more fun when you come out of your egg. You're still kind of in your egg here though, aren't you? <laughs> You're kind of in your egg still. Look at that. See, you did it. You did it. You came out of your egg. You're brave, very brave. It's a good baby. Yeah. And your brothers and sisters are going to really be excited because now they get to play with you. I'm very proud of you. Yep. You're a good little snake. <laughs> There you go. You did. You are in the real world, out of the egg. Yay! <laughs>